to stand together to make sure, as all of the speakers prior to me have said, that words are not as, much, it's not as important as actions. It is very, very important that we continue to pressure on Iran to make sure that they continue to no longer uh, put pressure on the state of Israel by threatening the state of Israel with nuclear warfare, by threatening them with terrorism. It is very important that we stand unified as one people for the state of Israel and making sure that Iran acts like the neighbor they should be. So I want to pre I appreciate this opportunity to say this message, and I want to look forward uh, to the opportunity of always making sure that we protect Israel. Thank you. Negotiations and pressure that we need to put on Iran. It needs to be a combination of both words as well as action. So while the, the negotiation is going on and the diplomacy is going on with the new president of Iran, uh, that alone is not enough. We still need to be as vigilant as we possibly can to protect the state of Israel. Joe, is Bear needed a foreign policy as well as an economic you know, I've been in New York in my whole life, and I think it you know, goes back, even Mayor Impelitari, I think, was there when I was born, had a foreign policy. I think we are the capital of the world, we're the headquarters of the United Nations, and uh, the Mayor of New York has uh, been always asked about various different issues all throughout the world. So the answer simply is yes. Yasser There's a world of difference between heads of state and uh, Yasser Arafat, who was a murderer. I mean, the comparison between the two is just not fair, not right, not correct. Uh, he was a murderer. Plain and simple. Is there something about this? Do you see any significant differences between you and your Democratic opponent um, in terms of foreign policy that you're just talking about? Sorry. Um, we we do have very very different political philosophies, uh, especially you know in light of what my views are as to you know uh, how our economy works, how he believes our economy works. I think that probably transfers over into foreign policy, but. It's not one that we've had a debate on. I mean, it's uh, pretty obvious we think very, very differently about uh, the way the governments of the world should work and the way the people should interact with their governments. But look, as I said, Bill and I have very, very different philosophies overall. Uh, and I believe his philosophies are coming through throughout this campaign. I mean, it is very, very important that we focus on, on things that will move our economy forward. I believe actions taken like the Sandinistas who were fighting Americans as well as uh, capitalism was absolutely not the right thing to do during the Cold War. Um, Cuban, you know, going to Cuba illegally is never a good thing in this country. Uh, I actually believe that uh, his point of view on the world and my point of view on the world are contrasting different. And I've said all along we will be able to contrast our points of view. One perfect example is last week uh, where he said, very proudly said, and but erroneously I believe, uh, said that he would not have allowed um, uh, the food company, um, Fresh Direct, sorry, Fresh Direct to actually uh, move from Queens to the Bronx with the subsidies necessary. Here's what he's saying. Take the thousand jobs and send them to New Jersey because that's where Fresh Direct is going. Thank you so much, Michael. Thank you to JCRC for bringing us together, for all the leaders who are here. You know, today our thoughts and prayers need to be with the people who have suffered the attack in Kenya. Another reminder of just how pervasive the terror threat is around the world. But that being said, we know, sadly, that we are the number one target right here in New York City. And we know that we have to be vigilant. We have to use every possible tool to protect ourselves. Thank you. And it's so important to recognize where danger resides. The Iranian government has been the number one state sponsor of terror for years. And until they fundamentally change their ways, we will continue to regard them as such. You know, the reason we've seen a change in rhetoric is because of the relentless pressure. I want to thank the JCRC and so many other organizations like Iran 180 and 
unite against nuclear Iran. They've kept the pressure on, on a civic level. I think what the United States government has done and the Obama administration, what other governments around the world have done, tightening the sanctions regularly, that is what is leading to a different message coming out of Iran. But as everyone has said rightfully, we won't be fooled by pretty words until we see fundamental changes in policy, until we see Iran move away decisively from the acquisition of nuclear weapons. We will remain vigilant. You know, a lot of us got together and tried to do something on a civic level to mirror what was being done with national sanctions. We organized against companies that were doing business in Iran. We put together the IranWatchlist.com and a number of other campaigns which helped us succeed in getting Western companies out of Iran where they were profiting and propping up the regime. So we have to continue every form of pressure on the Iranian regime until it changes its policies. We simply won't be fooled again after all these years of seeing the same malevolence. If they want peace, they'll need to pursue a fundamentally different path. And again, I thank everyone here today for standing up for the security of New York City, for standing up for the security of the State of Israel, our closest ally, and for continuing to confront Iran and remind them that they will not be recognized as a peaceful partner of the global community until they change these hateful policies. Thank you.